dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Welcome to Storytime with Pap. Today we have three short stories of, you guessed it, police misconduct. In fact, we're going to work our way through the ranks in this episode, uh, which stars a PC convicted of calling in a fake child indecent assault, a sergeant who tried to frame his wife by headbutting a door and claiming she punched him, and a detective who used police systems to access personal information about his girlfriends, with varying degrees of punishment for each. Those punishments were a final written warning, sacked in order to carry out community service, and allowed to continue working on restricted duties. Now before we start, I want you to pause the video and in the comments, tell me of each rank, which of the punishments they received for their misconduct, or which you think they received and then play the video to find out if you're right. And to make it easy for everybody to play and work out your answers, we're going to number the officers and give the outcome a letter. For example, PC is one, Sergeant is two, Detective is three. And for the punishments, warning is A, sacked is B, restricted duties is C. So for example, if you think the PC was sacked, you would write 1B. If you think the sergeant was given restricted duties, you will write 2C, leaving 3B for your final answer. Now pause the video and write your answers in the comments. And when you've done that, hit the play button again and find out if you're right. So our first story concerns P PC Hitesh Lahani, who is based at the Metropolitan Police's Central West Command Unit. He's been found guilty of perverting the course of justice at Kingston Crown Court on the 10th of December. PC Lahani, for some reason, called police on September the 5th, 2018, to report that a child had been sexually assaulted. Now it's unclear from my research whether he made the report anonymously or as a police constable. But either way, an investigation began, but no related allegations were identified and further analysis of CCTV showed that the alleged offence didn't actually happen. Now, even though after a criminal case resulted in a guilty verdict, PC Lahani is currently continuing to work on restricted duties while a misconduct process is arranged. Strange that you would keep on someone in the police force who has a criminal record. Oh wait, no that's not strange at all. Our next story is about 40 year old Fife Police Sergeant Barry Murphy. Barry, like many people, was having issues with his estranged wife. So like any normal person, you know, he decided to set her up for assault by headbutting a door and, <laughs> and claiming she punched him while he was on the phone, hoping that his claims would be supported by the caller on the other end after hearing him say, I, You just hurt me, I cannot believe you just hurt me. I, you just hurt me, I cannot believe you just hurt me. At the time, Barry was in uniform and would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky kids. Because although he hoped to land his estranged wife in trouble, his plan backfired when a teenager filmed his act on her mobile phone, which pretty much gave him up completely. A policeman for 14 years based in Edinburgh, Barry Murphy, appeared and was sentenced at Dunfermline Sheriff Court on the 11th of December on three charges. The first was assaulting his former wife by seizing her head, pushing her onto a bed and struggling violently with her. That just sounds like a good night with the missus. Behaving in a threatening or abusive manner by shouting at the ex-wife and a man. Behaving aggressively and making threats of violence towards them. And the third charge, behaving in a threatening or abusive manner by shouting and acting aggressively, all in the presence of a 16-year-old 
placing them in a state of fear, alarm and distress. Murphy has subsequently been sacked from Police Scotland and was placed on a community payback order with 275 hours of unpaid work and was also made subject to a five-year non-harassment order to protect his ex-wife. Now our third and final story is about 42-year-old Detective Sergeant Andrew Boyer. Boyer, a detective in Hertfordshire, admitted gross misconduct in that he misused police systems to access personal information about his girlfriends. Note that's a plural, as in more than one. Or maybe more than once, but probably more than one. His reasons for doing so were typically narcissistic, stating that he looked up his then partner in 2013 and 2014 with the intention of submitting intelligence about her, i.e. grassing her up for the PNC database. And in 2017, he then searched his new partner's name and looked at a custody photo of her. Mr. Boyer said he wanted to check he had not interviewed her previously. I mean, why anyone would do that to a current girlfriend is beyond me, but then I'm not narcissist. Although there are some people who would disagree with that. Isn't there, Mr. Tierney? Chief Constable Charlie Hall said Mr. Boyle, Mr. Boyer's actions were unacceptable and risked damaging the public's confidence in the police. Mr. Hall also said the detective had shown a disregard for proper handling of serious information. While Mr. Hall accepted Mr. Boyer had faced challenging and stressful circumstances in recent years, yes, isn't that their excuse all the time? That could never justify his actions and so suggested the most appropriate sanction was a final written warning. That's right, serious data breach, unacceptable behaviour, damaging the public's confidence, could never justify his actions and gave him a written warning. I bet that's the best Christmas present that Boyer will be getting this year. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me and I will be checking the comments to see how many of you got the answers right. And I don't want to see comments edited or I'm simply going to have to believe that you've just changed your answers after watching. Thanks for your time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button for more. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough. Share the videos, comment, like, it all helps. If you're looking for something else to watch, up top there is my latest video. Down the bottom there is a video that YouTube recommends for you.